Hello viewers, in this video, I will discuss the topic on how to determine the uncertainty in the results of the arithmetic operations or error in the result of the arithmetic operations. So here we have few statements to mention these things. First one, we have a rule. The first rule, we don't have any statement in particular, but I will explain it with an example. Okay, so let us take an area of a rectangle. Rectangle, I am taking the length of a rectangle as 16.2 and the breadth of the rectangle as 10.1. Okay, so I am taking the length of the rectangle as 16.2 and the breadth of the rectangle as 10.1. So these are the true values. Now I am going to write the values with error. Okay, so values with error. So I am taking the value as 0 0.1, 0 0.1 centimeters. Similarly, here also with error 10.1 plus or minus 0 0.1 centimeters. So, I mentioned the values with error. So, these are the values with error. Now, I am going to represent the error with percentage. How to represent with percentage? 0 0.1 by 16.2 into 100. So, when you calculate this, you will be getting the percentage as 0 0.6 percent. Okay. So, I am representing the true value with error percentage plus or minus 0 0.6 percentage. Similarly, for breadth also, 0 0.1 by 10.1 into 100, we will be getting the percentage as 1 percentage. So, the breadth with percentage as 1 percentage. So, I have represented the length and breadth with percentage errors. So, what will be the value of area? So, area will be equal to, you know the formula, length into breadth for the rectangle. So, what is length? 16.2 into 10.1. So, when you do this calculation, you will be getting the value as 163.62. So, now what about the percentage? We have to add the percentage error for the area. So, plus or minus 0 0.6 and 1, it is 1.6 percentage. Okay, so this is the value of area with percentage error. So, what is the value? So, I have represented in percentage. So, what will be the value? So, that value let us take it as x divided by 1 the total value 163.62 into 100. That will be your percentage 1.6. Then what will be the value of x? Calculate the value of x. When you do it, you will be getting the value as approximately 2.62. So, the 1.6 percentage of this value is 2.62. So, I am representing the area as 163.62 plus or minus 2.62 centimeters square. Okay, so now I will not leave in this stage itself. So, I have to follow the significant rule. Okay, so you can see that the length and breadth, they have significant up to 3. So, the minimum value is 3 only. So, I have to represent the area also with up to 3 significant figure. Okay, so here I have 1, 6 and nearby 3 have the number 6 which is greater than 5. So, I have to do the rounding off. So, I have to add 1 to this number. So, the total value will be 1, 6, 4. Similarly, for this also, the error also 2.62. See, the value of error is here 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. So, I have to represent the error with the least significant figure. So, I have the least value as 1 in these two cases. So, I have to represent the error with the one significant digit. So, see, I am having here 2, the nearby value is 6, which is greater than 5. So, I have to add 1, I have to write the value as 3 centimeter square. So, the area with error is represented as 164 plus or minus 3 centimeter square. This is the way of representing the arithmetic operations with error. Okay, this is for about the rule 1. Okay, next we have to consider the rule 2. A set of specific data is specified to n significant figures. So, now we are representing numbers with the significant figures. So, we are doing a result. A result obtained by combining the data, the data that we have taken, also should be valid to n significant figures. Yes, it is accepted. But this case is accepted only for multiplication and division. We cannot follow the, this rule for addition or subtraction. Because now I am doing subtraction of two numbers, 12.9 and 4.26. I am subtracting this two value. So, I am getting here, when you put 0 means it is 4, 6. So, I am getting here 8.64 as the answer. So, you cannot display the answer as 8.64 because according to the 
rule of the significant or the rule for addition and subtraction is we have to represent the number with least decimal value so here the least decimal value is 1 that is only 1 here we having 2 okay so least number is 1 so you have to represent the result also with one decimal so the answer is 8.6 okay so this is acceptable only for multiplication division for addition and subtraction we have to follow only these rules okay so next we have another statement regarding relative error let's see what they are given for relative error so what statement eh? with respect to relative error they are saying so they say that relative error of a value of number specified to significant figures depends not only on n it not only depends on the number of significant figure but also on the number itself for example, I am taking take two values. Let us take the it as a mass of a number. I am having error as 0 0.01. Similarly, I am taking another number 9.89 plus or minus 0 0.01. And now I am going to represent both with relative error. So that is with percentage relative error. 0 0.01 by 1.02 into 100 will be equal to you will be getting the value as plus or minus 1 percentage for this value. Similarly, do the calculation for this number, you will be getting 0 0.01 by 9.89 into 100 that will be equal to 0.1 percentage plus or minus 0.2 percentage. So, that is the more variation for, for these two values. See that? So, the relative error says that does not dip, it not only depends on the number that is the count of significant figure but it also depends on the number here because it is 1.0 it is 9.81 so there is a huge variation when we have a change in number so this is the rule says that not only depends on, on the number of significant figure but also on the number also okay next we have the fourth one intermediate results in a multi-step computation should be calculated to one more significant figures in every measurement than the number of digits in the least precise measurement. So, for this I am taking an example like this. I am going to find the reciprocal of 1 by 9.58. So, I will be getting the value as 0 0.104 if you calculate it. Okay. So, the reciprocal of 9.5 I am getting it as 0 0.104. Whether I will get the reciprocal of 0 0.104 as 9.58 Let's see. So 1 by 0 0.104, you will not get it as 9.58, you will be getting it as 9.62. Yeah, check it. Okay. So what happens? So for that reason, only they are saying that calculate to one more significant figure. Just add one more significant figure, you will be getting the reciprocal of this value, you will be getting a correctly. Up, uh, up to 5.9.578 that is when you round off you will be getting it as 9.58 this is the rule they are representing here okay so the reciprocal i am not getting i am getting one value so that reciprocal will not give you the value of the previous one so i have to add one more significant figure that is a nearby number so that i will be getting the same value okay so these are the rules for representing the uncertainty in the result of the arithmetic operations. Okay, thank you.